This is Nick with Checkpoint Software and I wanted to give a really quick demonstration on Checkpoint's Sandblast agent uh, technology running our anti-ransomware. So uh, I've got a copy of it running on my machine here. I've got the Forensic and Anti-Ransomware Blade. Now I'm going to infect this machine with the uh, WANA Decryptor, also known as WANACryptor or WANACry ransomware variant. Um, and so because of uh, me not wanting to potentially infect anybody else out there, I've disconnected this machine from my network, so uh, it's just running standalone. Um, it has access to a local management server, but there is no sandbox or anything that it can reach, uh, so I can't perform any sort of threat emulation or pull down any sort of active signatures. So I've got a copy of the malware running here. I'm going to just extract it um, to my desktop. Just by putting in the password there, uh, and if I go in here, is that copy of the malware which I'm going to run. Uh, now, it's immediately started uh, creating artifacts on my system, but the Checkpoint Anti-Ransomware Blade has kicked in as well, too. Now, this is using our Behavioral Analysis Engine, so it has picked up the fact that there appears to be ransomware-like behavior on the system, uh, but it's going to be performing all of the cleanup and remediation without actually having any kind of a signature. And we can already see that it's gone in and started deleting artifacts from the uh, directory where the ransomware used to exist. Uh, it had created some files on my desktop, which it's also gone in and uh, automatically deleted. Now, if I go into my Documents folder here, I can also see that you know some files have been created. Um, you know, I would expect to be able to see that uh, preview for any of my JPEG files, so it looks like they might have gotten encrypted uh, prior to our anti-ransomware blade actually detecting that that malicious behavior was occurring. So what's happening in the background when it says analyzing the infection is it's looking at all of the different behavior and processes that have been created uh, as a result of me running that file, attempting to undo any of the damage that they've done, uh, attempting to uh, you know kill off any other files that have been created and maybe you know moved into my startup directory or, or also executed as a result. Um, but it's also gone in and it's recovered or restored all of my files. So I can see here that it's uh, gone in and 17 of my files have been restored. So we took just-in-time backups of the files prior to them getting encrypted. Therefore, we can recover those files even if the ransomware is able to actually run on our system as I just demonstrated here. Uh, we also created an automatic forensic report. So within that forensic report are all of the details that a security analyst would need to be able to determine how did it get into my system, what was uh, automatically remediated, of course depending on the policy that you've got pushed out to the endpoint, certain things may have been remediated and other things not. Um, the suspicious activity that led us to believe that this was an attack, any sort of impact to the business, so in this instance 83 events occurred, and then a detailed breakdown of the incident uh, both from kind of an interconnected uh, process view as well as a timeline view. So I won't spend too much time going through the forensic report. We've got lots of examples that you can use to uh, see and of course you can always test it out yourself to get an idea about what this report looks like. It's an interactive report. One copy of it is located on the um, machine that uh, the incident ran on and then of course another copy is automatically uploaded to the log server so that the security analyst has the ability to see you know, exactly what happened over a timeline you know from the point where that executable was uh, run uh, WCRY EXE, all the details around that file as it was run, um, all of the interconnected files and processes that were created as a result of it, uh, and you can even see even the details of the commands that were run right up until the point where the whole thing was stopped and, of course, that entire system was fixed and remediated. So, quick breakdown there of the Checkpoint Sandblast um, anti-ransomware component, which is one layer of protection uh, amongst many different layers of protection that we can introduce into both the network and the endpoint layer within your organization. My name's Nick, and thank you very much.